That's why of all the girls in this community are chosen as a friend. My friend. <laughs> oh no, madam. <laughs> Has she crossed the city before? For where? Has she crossed this village? For where? Has she been to the city? For where? She wants to contend with us. Because I know you came in, you took over. I'm not yes.
My father's compound. Why won't you leave my sister alone? Ask me. Is she the only fine girl in this village? Oh. Or Guinea? What? Leave her alone. Huh? Why don't leave her alone till she gives us back our money? Huh? What money are you talking about? Your sister must give us back our money. She must. She thinks she can have smart us in this village. Never. I don't understand this nonsense, oh, because you still haven't said anything. Nothing. If you must know, your sister. She has been playing prank with us. Mm. I've been asking her summer out for the past three months. Clearly. She refused. Clearly. She said, we demanded that I must give her which amount of money before she, she would uh, accept. Of which I have to work endlessly, day in, day out in the front, just to raise the money and give to her. <laughs> After giving her the money, she ran. Ever since I've not been seeing her. She did the same thing to me since last two months. And she was even demanding for another money. <laughs> but we have concluded that enough is enough. I am no longer interested in that relationship. You see that money, she must bring it out. She must give me my money today, or else. Or else what? Or else what? Ask. What is wrong with you? Don't you have sense? Are you not ashamed of yourself? <laughs> Look at you. You think I do not recognize your voice? You should be ashamed of yourselves. Especially you, Chema. You should be ashamed of yourself in particular. Look at you. Your mother has been sick for the past six months. Lying ill at the hospital. Instead of you to save up money to save your sick mother. No, you will not. You keep lavishing your money on girls. Girls who do not want you. Are you not so shameless? Now you are here to touch my sister. In Apuala. Come and touch her now. Come and touch her. Come and touch her. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Are you mad? Aku Kibo. This is all you have to say, Akunne. Protecting your twin sister all the time. Oko Toki Wali Og. Oko Toki Wali Og. Yes. If I do not protect my twin sister, who else should I protect? Should I protect you? Animal, should I? Now listen, if you do not take your miserable selves and leave this compound right oh now, I will show you what fire draws with the ear of the rats. Mm -hmm. Now get out. He said we get out. Get oh. out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. of this compound. Oh. Get out. 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 Oh, you think she's an antipod like me? You want to fight her? Immigrants of hellfire. Mwanu, come and do! Come and do! Idiot! What? What is it? Stupid boys! God punish you and your parents! You want to come and come and do!
baby. Stop. Are you okay? Uh, yes, I'm fine. I've come to tell it right to your face to please stop worrying my life. Please. I... I don't understand. Asama, what is it that you don't understand? Tell me, what is it? What is it that you do not understand? My brother here says you should stop worrying him. He does not want you. Look, I carefully followed him from the house down to this place to make sure he ends it today once and for all. Because I do not understand what my brother is doing with a woman like Asama in this village. Someone that is bent on stripping him of everything he has worked for all his life. A woman that goes about creating and attracting problems everywhere she goes to. A woman that lies. Asama, you lie. You lie every minute of your life that even if you are caught red-handed, you still lie. Someone that does not even have a single respect for his siblings. Handwork for where? Not even a single handwork in this life. The only thing you know how to do is Ntachasi, Ichoma. You can't support his dream. Can you support his dream? No. The only thing you know how to do is extort him. As a you extort him of every single money he makes. How can a woman that doesn't know anything about domestic chores want to marry my brother now? How? As a how? If this is your definition of beauty, then you lie. You lie. Which one will I even mention and which one will I leave? How somehow you travel to the city and spent just a few months? Because this thing, this thing in between your legs made them drive you back to this village. You think we do not know? You came back. Instead of you to go and hide, no, you came out. Be raising your shoulder, moving up and down and forming city girl for us. Oh, village slay queen. Now you want to marry my brother. You lie, yo. Let me tell, every time I've been asking him, is it that you did not see someone like Akune here, your sister, to hang out with if it must be from this family? Look at her. Kai, Jehovah, I thank you. I thank this almighty God because today he has finally answered me. He said he has gotten everything he wanted from you and he's done with you. Now is the time to call it quit. Call it quit now, now, now that I'm here. Because you see that plan, that plan of yours to extort him of everything he has worked for and move on to another person. It has failed you. It has failed because my brother cannot marry you. Ne, my brother will not marry you. Leave him alone. Leave him alone for me. Um, what, what is, what is your sister talking about? Head her right. I've gotten what I wanted and I am done with you. And listen, let me tell you, I wouldn't want to see you anywhere close to me again. I've got a future to build, and certainly not with people like you. Yes. Bam. I have someone else. Stop. Wait, wait, wait. You, 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 you said you loved me. Our wedding is just a few weeks away. We, we, we're supposed to be getting married. Well, I lied. I said that so that I can be able to eat back all the money you have been extorting from me, all in the name of being smart. Bam. Jesus Christ. Look at me very well. I am not daft not to differentiate between a woman for temporary fun and a woman for keeps. Jesus. You are not a woman for keeps, Asama. That one there is. Oh. So do yourself a favor to emulate her. My brother cannot marry you! Brother, let's go! Let's go! Who is she? Be let me with this girl by school. I wonder who you are calling for. That's your death. Touch me. Don't come close to me. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. Always a thing of comparison. Always the good girl. Since you formed the habit of, of diverting every man that comes my way to yourself. Akuna, you did it once. You did it twice. Uncountable times and it spread around the village and everybody followed suit. Oh, Asama is the girl that every man should just sleep with and run away. I hope you are happy. What is wrong with you, Asa? Why would you always blame me for things that are not my fault? Whose fault is it? I ask you, Akuna. Whose fault? 
I couldn't imagine. Asa, you have to calm down. Oh, you really no. have to. You are hot already. It is no news that our family had maintained a good name right from the days of our fathers. The girls lived exemplary lives that they attracted good suitors for themselves. That is why everybody wanted to marry from our family. How is it my fault that you grew up and decided to follow this terrible path? Irrespective of how our late parents tried to, to teach you the way of life. Now you're blaming me and you want it to be my own fault. And now you try to blame me. You took every man that came my way. You took my first love. And the rest of them. I never took any man that came your way, Asama. What is wrong with you? All I did was to, to make them understand that I'm not a rude person and then chase them away. Let me tell you this. You will not get away with this. Huh. I will make sure you pay for every pain I'm going through right now. And I... <sighs> Why she always blaming me? Why? Asa! Asa. Often times, I have sat down and watched you ever since my only son and his beautiful wife. Your parents died in that ghastly motor accident. I have watched you from a far distance. And I have watched you from close range. I see you worry. Looking for answers that are there. But you just cannot see them. Ah, you, you often wonder why your relationship with men never lasts, irrespective of your beauty. I understand how you feel. And I think I have answers to your thoughts. I am your grandmother, and I can never lie to you. I have been on this earth many, many years, so I know what I'm talking about. True beauty lies in the heart. What is the color of your heart? True beauty is hidden within. You might be beautiful, but the physical beauty never lasts. If people like you because of your physical beauty, when it fades, they will leave you and run. But the inner beauty never fails. It never changes. It never lies. Except you decide to change. My daughter. You have to change. Your physical beauty cannot get you anything. Everybody knows you as Obatosu. Once you enter a place, it's filled with trouble. Deceive people. You lie. You cheat. Nobody wants to have anything to do with such a woman. Very soon, your physical beauty will disappear. Then what do you do? Change your ways. 
Stop blaming your twin sister or any other person around you. What I can when I'm fair, I'm like a You have to change for tomorrow. What can you change that Desist from your evil ways, else you will not last. It is only your true friend that will tell you that your mouth smells. I will tell you the truth. As your grandmother, change so that you will last. Change so you will find love. Change so you will be happy. Of me, what is wrong with you? Anybody that sees you dragging me like like this might think you're about to do something immoral. Calm down. You know here that if you want to make a request from a woman, first of all you check and know what she loves and admire the most. Uh. Eh? See, when you check and, and know what she wants, you get that stuff. When you get it, then you know whether she's a shy person or someone that loves secret. If she is, then you take her to a very secret place. Then after that, wait, look at me. Then you look into her eyes and give her the stuff. Trust me, trust me. You will get a very honest answer. Trust me. Mm? Odili, mm. you and your philosophy. You think I don't know that you made this up yourself? You never got it from anywhere. You think I do not know? Come on, okay, yes. I, I made it up myself. All those great men that is creating their own quotes, they don't have two heads, do they? I have heard you, Odili. What exactly do you want? I, I don't like standing here. I don't like it. First, first of all, I got you this flower. You got me flower? Yeah, I know you love flowers, especially colorful ones. <laughs> this is for you. Thank you. So, can I go now? Ako, from the innermost sanctuary of my heart, I want you to be my girlfriend. Odili? Yes. <laughs> what are you saying? Have you suddenly forgotten that you're dating my twin sister and you want me to be your girlfriend? You know it's not possible. Don't say that. Don't say that. I could forget about your sister. She's already an old story. It's you I want now. I want you. Please. Huh. Well, I'm sorry you cannot have me. You cannot. Please. I better take my leave. Besides, get up. Get up. Aku. Get up, I said. Please, I have to go. Aku. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We are not fighting. I do not now. like Cal this. Calm down. Huh? Okay, at least say thank you for the flowers. Hmm? If that makes you happy, Odili, thank you. Are you fine now? No, no, okay. Just give me a hug. A hug? Just a hug, please. Why would I do a thing like that? It's, it's no more hug now. Have you forgotten we used to hug? We used to hug uh -huh. each other now. Nothing was attached to the hug I gave you previously, but this one, I do not want to give. That's a friendly hmm. hug. Come on. It's okay now. It's okay. What did he? Ah, go! Oh, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Come here. Ah, go. Oh, but Jesus. Ah, go, what are you doing in the bush with my boyfriend? Eh? Eh? What did I hear you say? See, Asa or oh, Asa, I am not your boyfriend. We've broken up a long time ago. Leave me alone. I don't want you. Eh? All, all I want is your sister. Can't you see she? She has everything that a man wants. She has all the qualities. Odile! What is wrong with you? Take your flower. Nah. Stay away from me. Stay away. Akko!
marry me. Hmm? What are you saying? Are you not supposed to be my sister's... Um... Yes. That was before. Ha! Huh. Look into my eyes. And tell me the truth. If I were to be your brother, would you advise me to marry someone like your sister? Hmm. Be honest about that. Honestly, this is so unbelievable. If this is actually why you called me out here, I mean, if this is the important thing you said you wanted to discuss with me, then I'm not interested, Biko. Wait, wait, wait. There is nothing more that could be more important than this. No one sees a bush and sees a road and yet follows the bush. And no one in his right senses would see fire and intentionally put his leg inside the fire. I recently realized that I made the wrong choice of woman when I came to your family. Hmm. See, my dear, let me tell you something. I am one of those men that believe that a man with all his wealth is not yet complete without a good woman by his side to call his wife. Hmm. I have studied you from far and near. And realize that you are the right woman for me. Hmm. I am ready to settle down with you. Please marry me. And I promise you that I will make you a fulfilled woman. Hmm. Hmm. Listen, please. I do not want to sound rude. But if this is why you called me out here, Biko, I beg to take my leave now. Wait, wait, wait. Me. What are you saying? How horrible can you be? You're supposed to be my sister's man. Are you even asking me out? What do you expect me to tell you? My twin sister for that matter. Please, I... Uh, Uncle Nate, it's okay. Huh? Oh, wait, I have to show you something. I have a surprise for you. What is that? It's a surprise. So you close your eyes. Why? Close your eyes. No. Close your eyes. I said no. I don't like what you're seeing. No. It's a surprise for me to you. Close your eyes. Huh. Close your eyes. Jeff! Oh! No, 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 no. Aku, it's not. Have you seen? Have you seen what you've got? Aku, it's because of you he has been avoiding me. What you think? This man is my fiance. Have you seen what you have cost? You're, you're sorry for what? Come and tell my sister. Come and tell her. I've not done anything wrong. Trust me. I, I, I was, I, he said he wanted to tell me something. But, so when I got there, he, he said he wanted me to marry him. I said no, that I would not marry him. You now listen with your lips and not with your ears. He asked me to He was show. almost kissing you, Aku. I didn't know the kiss was coming. He asked what me did to I do to you? What, what wrong have I done to you? My sister, I cannot hurt you. I couldn't have done a thing like that. Come. Come, come, come. I don't punish you for what you have just done. Listen, sister of mine, I can't. I am not. I'm just telling you the truth. God knows the truth. I swear to you. I swear to you. I did nothing wrong. I swear. I'm sorry. I, he called me out here and he was telling me something. I didn't know. I didn't know. I have no idea. I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry. Please. Not again. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm deeply sorry. I'm sorry. Please. Someone name. I see you are still hurt. I see you visit ugly old memories. 
I can feel it right here in my heart. But I want you to know that I am deeply sorry. I need you to forgive me if you think I have done anything wrong to you. I am sorry. Because what we share, no one does with us. Not anywhere in the world. Not today. Not any time in the future. The bond we have between us is too strong for a third party to break. It can only be broken if we give consent to it. I, I miss our good old days, Ejimam. I miss the love we share. Believe me when I say that, whatever that is yours will surely locate you someday. And whatever that it is that has brought conflict between us will never come up again. If anything tries to rise up again, I will take a bullet for you, Ejiman. That is how much I love you. And I promise I will do anything to make you happy. Please. Listen. I am ready to sacrifice anything. Anything just to see you happy. I am deeply sorry. I need our old, our old memories back. I've missed everything. How we used to play when we go to school those days. How you used to cry and I'll bring you to myself and pamper you. How I cook for you and serve you at night. How we play together at night and during the day. I miss everything. I need our old memories back. Please. 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 Please, I'm sorry, Ejimam. I'm sorry. I do. I do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. Dreaming. It's true. Oh What's my god. Mean? What is an all time popular designer, Margaret, you're doing in Amokwe village? Okay, Why are you sounding like you can't see the handwriting on the wall? Clearly written. Okay. My dream man has located me. Same way I see him in my dreams. God. Good Jesus. You remember the dream I used to tell you when we were much younger? Yes, yes, I remember. Okay. It has come to pass. How, how we met along the beautiful path. He was, he was riding in his car. And, and later he, he asked me to marry him and, and we 
I got married and, and when I said it, people thought I had malaria. They thought I was sick, but okay, this is it. This is it. This is it. This is it. Okay. Yes. Yeah, this is it. You were right. <gasps> oh, I remember. Okay, I need to confirm it. Asked for my number. <laughs> Gregor asked for my number. You see what I have always told you. To be patient, that whatever that is yours will locate you. Of course. Huh? Now, tell me, Asama. Did you struggle to get this? No! Yeah? The patient dog. The fattest bone. Of course. The patient dog eats the fattest bone. I saw. I'm so. Oh. Jehovah. Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah El Shaddai. The beginning and the end. God of Asama. You have created me. <laughs> created me to look this man. Amen. As I'm a loaf and I'm a queen. Drink gold butter. Amen. Choco. He has given me this kind of man. Like it's pointless. Enough money. Good car. Perfect match, Jehovah. You have combined the two of us. Jesus. Amen. Father, if I don't marry this man, I will die. Mm -hmm. Father, I must mm -hmm. marry this man. No, 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 sir. It hasn't worked to that step. Huh? To that level. Oh, what do you mean it has got to that level? Okay, Chico. It has even passed that level. It has passed it. I must marry this man. I'm going to get married to my friend. Okay. Okay, Chico. We need to start making plans. We need to start. We need to start. Picking out things, writing out our list, and and what's going to be the color of the day? Um, blue and gold, or white and white and red? What do you think? And of course, you're going to be my. Ah! Wait for this to come true. He has come to ask for my hand in marriage. Exactly the same way he did in my dreams. Oh my god. Yes, he, he came in that same car. The black Lexus, the, the, the big one. That's exactly 
12.15 p.m. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, you were right. You were right. Everything you said about him is true. I mean, everything they said about him is true. Everything. Yes, yes. He, he just, he just drove him. You know what? I'm, I'm going to call you back. My wonder man is here. Indeed, he is full of surprises. I'll, I'll call you back, okay? All right. Good. You're full of surprises. You're welcome. No, 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 no. She's not the one. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what about your sister? I couldn't. I couldn't. Come, come. Hey. Hey. Good afternoon. Uh, no, you called. Yes, I already doing good afternoon, so you know why I called. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? I'm fine. Good, good. You're welcome. Um, Ne. Actually, I'm here to let you know that I intend coming next week with my kinsmen to solidify the marriage right between me and Akunne. Yes, you. Let's say Saturday. Um, yeah, we're here. Yeah, we'll be waiting for you, okay? Okay. I could have heard now. Yes. You people are welcome. Hey, 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 tell them. No, sorry. Okay, no, no, eh? Just Welcome. Go inside, go inside.
Akune. You have started keeping secrets just like your late father Dicky. Nee. Nee. I am not hiding anything from you. Okay. Even if I must hide something from someone, mm -hmm. certainly not you, me. Are you sure? Yes. The first day that that young man came to visit, ah, you did not realize I was looking at you from the corner of my eyes. <laughs> eyes. <laughs> nee, you are very funny. Okay, let me tell you. <laughs> Greg and I have been seeing each other for quite some time now. Yes, we met on the path road on his way to Amachara, two villages away from here. And ever since then, things started happening. What kind of things were happening? <laughs> things like this, Ne. But I do not mean immoral things. We started seeing each other, started communicating. I really love him, Ne. I love him not because he's popular, but I love him because of the person I see when I look through his heart. I feel something strong for him, and I believe he feels the same. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, Ne. Mm -hmm. Getting married to him would be the greatest thing that would ever happen to me. Uh, I'm being honest I'm with married. you. I'm being honest. Kai, now you have reminded me of my own days. The act of marriage actually takes place, first of all, in the heart. Not in the church, not the hall. I am so happy that you are in love. You have been glorious. <laughs> but there's a story that I want to tell you. Anyway, are you ready to listen? I'm ready. Did you go? Are you not going to say something reasonable to me because I'm losing it already? <laughs> Okay, Chiku, I'm losing it already. Asa, <laughs> I still suggest you have dialogue with your sister. It's possible they might have been dating before. No! Never! That's not possible. Akune has never traveled out of this village for the first time in her whole life. To have met such a man. She charmed him. Charmed? Okay, Chuku, I couldn't. I couldn't have charmed my man the same way she has. She has always done in the past. She charmed him. This happened. Oh, let this happen. We we'll never let this happen. Asa. Asama. <laughs> Akone is still your sister. Your twin sister at that. So I still suggest that dialogue is the best way. See, I think at this point, you should swallow your pride. Both of you could work things out. Yes. You can. Please stop crying. Please leave him for me. I know you can't do this for me, my dear sister. Please. I find it very difficult doing this. He means everything to me. He is my life. I could, I could, everything. 
everything was playing out well. Everything was going as it was in my dreams. Before, before what? Asa, what are you saying? <laughs> you want me to leave my future for you? A man you have grown to love in the world of fantasy you created on your own. A man you had admired from distance. A man that hardly knows you. What? What are you saying, Eji, ma'am? How is that possible? It's, it's very possible. Aku, it's, it's possible. And I, and I know you would do it for me. Aku, Aku, this man was meant for me. He was meant for me, otherwise it wouldn't be occurring the same way it has been in my dreams. You've always professed how much you loved me. And can make sacrifices for me. Ako, you said you would do anything to make me happy. You said... You said the bond between us cannot be broken. A third person. Ako, this is the time. It's the time for you to prove it. Please, I beg you, just do it for me. And I'll be forever grateful. I promise I will forgive you for every wrong you have done to me. Please. Ako, listen. You can you can find someone else. You know you can find someone else. You, you, you're very lucky when it comes to attracting good men to you. Please, you just have to help me get him back. I need to get him back. You have to help me win him. That man means a lot to me. He, he's my life. If I don't marry him, I will die. Asa, please. I do go extra miles to please you. I go extra miles to do something for you. The bond between us is too strong. And no one can ever break it. Thank you. If this man in question can stand between us and choose you as his wife, I will bear no grudges. Thank you. Thank you. But then again, I doubt. I doubt if anyone possesses the power to come between Greg and I. Not human. Not spirits. Asa, I love this man with my life. I love him with everything in me. He is all I have got. Please. As it stands now, I don't think I'm ready to let go. Sorry.
desperation, envy, hatred, intolerance, all the negativities of life is something you do not bring to the table where twins are concerned. The bond between twins is incomparable. Twins are not meant to hurt each other. When you hurt your twin, you pay dearly for it. You see, my daughter, when a seed is planted in a favorable place, it germinates and grows to become a big tree with branches. Do not let your hatred become that small seed that grew to become a big tree with branches. Do away with hatred, envy, anything bad that would cause harm to your twin sister. Mom, listen to me. Try to be good and loving to your sister. Try to find peace. Whatever you feel she has done to you, forgive her and move on. That is the only way you can make it. If you continue in your negative ways, what I see, what I see is disastrous. We're working away. So I was thinking maybe when I get to the city, I'll send for you. Or better still, I'll come and pick you myself. Mbao! Hey! I do not want to go to the city. I want to stay back here. Look around. See nature. When you are close to nature, you have longevity. You live to be old. 
and you will not get sick. Eh? Ha! Ah, besides, by the time your sister gets married and lives here, who will take care of your father's house? Mm -hmm. Talking about I that. I don't want to go to the city. Yes, talking about our father's compound, mother. My husband and I have decided to demolish this house and build a defeating house for you. Mm -hmm. And I won't give you any proposal. Hey! Please. Hamba! Hey, Jaquanadia! You see this house? I like it the way it is. It could run one corner, it is no more the same. Because, don't talk about that. Eh? Eh? Oh, 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 Am I not saying the truth? I know, Mama, but. Hamba! No, but, because, name, no, but. Let us uh, talk about more important issues. You know, very soon both of you will be going back to the city as a married couple. And there are certain things, mom, you need to know that will help your marriage. If you go, when this young man, your husband, comes and wants to with you, hmm? My daughter, do not say no. It is his right. He has paid for it. So, don't be shy. These are the realities of life. So you allow him to, you know? Yeah. And then when you people quarrel, whether it is your fault or his fault, if a look, you say, you don't buy a Eh? I want to apologize once again, my dear sister. But I'm human. I need you to understand that there are traces of jealousy that exist in every human. I mean, we feel bad when, when we want something so desperately and all of a sudden we see that same thing sleeping before our very eyes. Please, I'm sorry. It's okay. You don't need to apologize. As a matter of fact, I should be the one apologizing to you. Please, forgive me if I have wronged you in any way. I'm deeply sorry. You are my better half. You are my blood sister. My twin. We are inseparable. Together we stand as one. I love you so much. And I love you too. I'm happy. <laughs> and I also wish to let you know that I will be relocating to the city soon. At least to find something good for myself. Wow, that would be very nice. You know I have not been to the city before. If not, I would have said you should come along with me now. But then, anytime you find yourself in the city, do well to come to the house. You are welcome any time, any day. Oh, yeah, me
that a real man loves his wife and puts his family first in life. You have brought joy to me and I will love you for the rest of my life. <laughs> my beautiful wife. I love you too, my world. I'm so, so lucky to have found you. No. We are lucky to found each other. You made my world. You brought so much joy and happiness to me. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I love you. No, I always love you. I love you, too. Mm. <laughs> you brought joy to me. Mm. You brought joy and happiness to me. Oh my God! You allowed that on your face? I did. See, your face is so beautiful now. Mm -hmm. Okay, just tell me what what are you using? I've learned how to do makeup. You taught me. Ah, I... <laughs> you taught me. But your own is more beautiful Thank now. You. Where did you get your lashes best. from? It's so nice. Wow. Oh, oh my God. Okay. So, God. I'm so happy to see you. Yeah, I'm happy to see you. I hope it was not difficult for you to look in here. Come oh, on, this is not the first time I'm coming here, you know. This is Asama, oh. my sister. Wow. As a matter of fact, my twin sister. Oh, wow. The one I've <laughs> always told you about. Oh, really? It's Louisa, my best friend. She's more like a family to us. She works with the delivery agency. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. oh nice, nice to meet you. 
Oh my god, you're so beautiful. Oh, oh my god, I guess you guys have this whole big tent in your. Boy, come on, come here, uh, Auntie. She's here. Big boy. <laughs> come and greet Auntie. Come. Hi. Ah, ah, look on. Ah. I see him. Hi. Hey. Oh, hi. City boy. Hey. Hey. Uncle. <laughs> Big boy now. <laughs> Don't mind him. You're welcome, my darling Thank sister. You. I'm really happy that you're here. I know. Uh, okay, fine. Let me take you to your room. Okay. Okay. Welcome. I'm coming. Oh, well, hey, big boy. Hey, big boy. Hey, big boy. Let me play with you. Okay, come sit here. You're my big boy. So, what's this? Teddy. Teddy. I know. It's so big. Will you touch No, no. Why? I'm not touch. What? Come on, my love. It's my blood system you're talking about here. But baby, I know, I know, I know it. But I thought we've talked about it over and over again. Eh? I do, I'm not just comfortable with it. I do not like this idea of having a stranger coming to live with us. My blood sister? A stranger? Baby, baby, please do not misunderstand the choice of my word. Eh? I am not just comfortable with it. I'm only trying to be careful. Careful about what, if I may ask? The person you're talking about is my twin sister and you're calling her a stranger. <sighs> okay, listen. Family matters could be very delicate at times. And if not handled with utmost care, it could be disastrous tomorrow. Okay, have you ever asked yourself why I've not allowed any of my person, even my relation, to live with us? I do not like it. Rather, I give them money to go somewhere else and take care of themselves. I don't want by tomorrow somebody wake up and want me to treat him or her the way I treat my wife. Or want you to treat them the way you treat me. It wouldn't be nice. I understand you, my love. I understand everything you have said. Trust me, I do. But then again, we are talking about my twin sister. I will never be comfortable knowing full well that my blood is out there, struggling, feeding from hand to mouth, not living in a comfortable accommodation while I am here enjoying. It's not nice. Okay, fine. I understand everything. Tell me, are you going to give her money to get an apartment for herself? Sweetheart, you know, for some time now, things are not Oh, really... come off it, honey. Come off it. I know you're trying to give excuses. Money is not the problem and you know that. Okay, fine. Why not allow her to come here and stay with us? Please, depending on the time you're ready to give her money to find the apartment. My love, please. I will not be comfortable knowing full well that my own blood sister is out there, not happy. She's my twin, my sister, my better half. She's everything I've got. I am begging you. I, I know that you're not, you're not happy with it, but please, for the love we share, do this for me. And I promise you that nothing will go wrong. Absolutely nothing, please. Please. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. She can go on and stay with us. You can help Tony B. Thank you. I know you will do it for me. Thank you. I'm so excited now. You know, you know, you know, you know so kind. Sienny, 
You're free to stay here with us, pending on the time you're ready to leave. It's not. <laughs> okay, this is a lie. It's a lie. It's not. I'm telling you the truth. Though it was not easy to get him convinced, but I'm happy he agreed. So you relax and enjoy your stay. <laughs> I, I, I can't believe. Do you know what? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, that reminds me. I'll be going to see Nate tomorrow with Kamsi. Okay. Would you come with us? Um, I would love to, but you know I need to go job hunting. I just got here. I need to get something doing with myself. I wouldn't want to miss that for anything. Mm -hmm. I understand. But send my regards to Nate. Of course! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll just get the dinner ready okay. and I'll send for you. Alright, thank I you. Love it. Thank you so much. I'm so happy, trust me. I'm so happy. Yes, we're going to have a good time together. Yes. I'm coming. Okay, Mama, I want to see Mama. I say, okay, fine. You will see Mama today. Yeah, yeah, I've seen him. <laughs> yeah. what, what did you bring for me? Uh. <gasps> what is he called? Teddy. Teddy. Yeah, he's Teddy. Hey. <laughs> uh oh. Can I dance with Teddy? Mm. Yes, oh. ma'am. <laughs> Do you like the daddy bus for me? Amazing, it is beautiful. 
Do not forget to say thank you to your daddy when you go back to the city. Yes, Grandma. Grandma, Tia Bayo Shiku was calling me cancer and I told you not to come in cancer again that my name is Big Boy. That was the name Grandma gave me. No, Tia Bayo is Shiku. Who is he? He is our class monitor. He, they call him Ishiko because he has a very big head. Why, <laughs> you, my boy? This is not good to call somebody Ishiko. A poor boy did not create himself. Uh -huh. Tell me. Eh? Then, secondly, your real first name is Kamshi Yotru. It is a prayer. Anytime your name is mentioned, it is a prayer. Don't ever forget that name. I called you big boy because I know you will be... You are going to grow up to be a big boy. <laughs> copy, Grandma. Grandma, can you tell me a story? It's not copy. I did not see you copying anything. You don't have any book. <laughs> The meaning is that it's in my brain. Okay, okay. I'm my brain. You can be eating your brain. Hey, it's okay. Tell me, can you tell me stories? I will tell you the story after you finish eating your food. Okay, Grandma. Grandma, your food is nice. Why didn't your sister Samma come with you? I don't know. I told her to come with me, but she said she's going to be busy today, so I left her. Oh, 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 I didn't notice, I noticed you walking. <laughs> I got the package you ordered for. Okay. Uh, this is it. I called your wife earlier on today and she said she traveled to the village. Yeah, they went to see grandma, you know, G, uh, a big boy wouldn't just allow me rest. Uh, yeah. He said he's been missing grandma so much. <laughs> so let's see what you've got. Okay, this is it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Wow, 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 wow. Good stuff. Yeah, yeah. they're actually good. They're beautiful. Mm. Is this one Italian? <laughs> oh, yeah, they are. Mm. 
I'm a Fiji, my husband. Here. You know it's I not up for argument. I have always been the winner. Right no, from play. time. No, too much. Life from time immemorial. Oh, I'm going goodness. to win with you. Let's not. Someone is not trying to take my beautiful wife away from me. Of course not, my love. You know, nobody is going to take your wife away from you. You know that. I agree with you, Chris. There's no one will ever take my wife away from me. Never. <laughs> hey, babe. Where are you going? Let me get something out there. Okay. <laughs> hey, how are you? Um, you know, this man is a blessing to my life. I love him so dearly. <laughs> yes, um, I was going to tell you this, my sister. Now that you're in Lagos, I don't think you be a better idea you going out there to search for jobs when I have something you can actually do. As you know, I have two beauty shops. One is in City Complex and the other one is in Dolphin Estate. But do not worry, the choice is yours. Take your time because here you're going to be in charge. You know that. <laughs> okay, like I said, I'm going to wing you as always. Are you okay? Uh, um, yes, I. <clears throat> I'm fine. I was just um, lost in. Thoughts, <laughs> because so. you weren't saying anything, so. I'm sorry, that Let the game that's... begin. Yes, but you are not taking red. You know I like red. Ah, sir, even if you take red, I will always win you. Ne. I win. Red is danger. Red is Let's danger. Let's try. You can't win. I will win. Red is danger. Okay, now, no, let's see. Let's see. Red is danger.
I saw one there. How are you? I believe you're fine. Well, I got this for you and I know you will like it. You know my husband. He has this habit of always shopping for this family each time he wants to travel. He almost shut down the boutique today for my son and I. I got so many things for us, but I said to myself, no, I must buy something for my beloved sister. And this is what I got for you. I know you love colorful dresses, even though I almost forgot. But I got this one for you because I know you will like it. So you check it out. <laughs> she almost forgot to get me something. That is because I am not important of not even part of this family. Asa. And of course. Her husband almost shut down the boutique for her and her son. And here she comes with one dress for Asa. Yeah. I don't misunderstand this whole thing. What do you mean I shouldn't misunderstand the whole thing? Tell me, you went out to do all shopping and get yourself all the good things of course and then you act like, like I am part of this family, yet you keep me in this godforsaken room that looks like a shit hole and a dead man's quarter. And you stand here to tell me I shouldn't misunderstand anything. What is wrong with you? This is the guest room for crying out loud. Is anything wrong with this room? Does this room look like your room? I'm asking you, Akune, does it look like your room? Why in God's name would you even keep me in the guest room? I ask, why? What is going on? Please. Uh -huh. Go and look for a pauper and give this coat of many colors to. Excuse me. Worried. I, I don't. I don't like the way I am feeling. I, I, I need to call my daughter. I, I, I don't like the way I'm feeling. Can, can, can you get on the phone for? Okay, Mama. I don't like this feeling. The, the number is not going. Why? Um, I think it should be poor network. Why should there be poor network now? You just, just keep trying. I, I, I don't like the way I am feeling. Okay. Yes, Udodi. I'm fine. Eh? Are you sure you're fine? Yes, Indy, I'm, I'm very fine. How are you? Uh, how is your husband and the, the big boy? Eh? How are they doing? The big boy is very fine. Huh? My husband is okay. They're both good, yeah. Oh, what how about your sister, Samma? Is she giving you problems? No, not at all, Indy. Nobody's worrying me. I'm fine. Oh, it is quite sure. Eh? Well, that is good to hear. Eh? I'm going to call dinner. I wanted to hear your voice. All right, Indy. You take care of yourself. 
Hey, 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 hello, hello. Hey, just keep praying, eh? Every day. When was the last time you prayed? Hey, what called that? Let me. Whoa. The call has ended. I didn't finish everything I wanted to say. Mama, hope they are fine. Yes. Yes. I'm worried. My, my phone. Dad, oh. mm. You came back with the firewood. Yes, ma'am. Good. Go and prepare something for us to eat. Jesus. See my damn sister. Oh wow. Yeah. Let me go sleep. It's magic touch and the beat. Oh, God. 
Junior's room to check on him. That's where I'm coming from. Yeah, I went there too, uh, but I couldn't find you. Oh. I've been worried. Oh, maybe I already left before you came in. I, I also went around the compound to check if the doors were properly locked. Uh, you know we do not have security, man. You never wanted that. Is, is there something you're not telling me? Of course not, my love. Everything sure? is fine. Everything is perfect. not sleep last night. That is because I am so worried. I was worried about you. I was worried about me. I was worried about our entire family at large. I do things that are not me these days. I lie to my husband. I sneak around in my own home. I sleep with one eye open simply because I want to protect the interests of my dear sister. You are close to me yet it's as if you are very far away from me. The connection is no longer there. You go out, do your things without even letting me know. Suddenly you took a different color. The most heartbreaking part of it is that you bring in strangers into my matrimonial home to party. Have you got an idea how risky it is if my husband eventually finds out about this? Have you? I mean, it automatically appears that I am a liar and untrustworthy. Because this was not the impression I, I, I brought before my husband. Listen, my sister, 
I am doing all this because of the unconditional love I have for you. But then again, it gives me cause to worry. Because I am a married woman and this is my home. I am scared. To be honest with you, I am afraid. For how long am I going to take all this? You have to calm down. You have to. Besides, I have gone against the agreement I had with my husband. You are supposed to have left this house immediately the money for your accommodation was provided. <sighs> Wait a minute. Are you in any way asking me to leave your house? Not at all. I can never do a thing like that, my sister. You can leave whenever you deem fit. That is why you have to be of your best behavior. Mind you that there are some things you might be comfortable with. Why another person is not comfortable with it? That is why you have to put yourself together until you find your place. I am begging you, my dear sister. I love you so much and I can do anything for you. It is only you I have got. Just you. I have no other sibling. Listen to me. I can do anything. Anything within my reach just to protect you and make you happy. Please. Do not allow this act of love destroy me and my marriage. I beg of you, my sister. Try and understand me, please. Please.
Good morning, my son. You are this your teddy. How was your night? Hey, mommy. Mommy, you didn't come to check up on me this morning. I know. I know you will complain. I intentionally did not want to disturb you because I know you're not going to school today. So I left you to rest until you want to wake up. Have I done anything wrong? No. Mommy, are you sure? Mm. Mommy, you look worried. What are you thinking? <laughs> Big boy, I am not thinking anything. I am fine. I am okay. Mommy, I had a dream where you left your food for Antiasa and Antiasa took it and started eating it. Really? Well, if you had a dream where I left my food with my twin sister, that is very good. I mean, it shows that I am kind to her. Yes, maybe she was hungry and I wasn't. But mommy, you were crying when she was eating the food. Is that also an act of kindness? Mommy, I don't like her. I have a feeling she does not belong here. Huh? Please, send her away No, 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 my son. Do not offer such word again. It is very improper for you to start hitting on people now. And it's very wrong for me to send my only sister away because she doesn't have anywhere to go. Very wrong. Now listen to me. I am your mother and I will always tell you the right thing. Listen, my son. You should also express your act of kindness to people whenever and however you deem fit. That is what the Bible teaches. All right? Mommy, it was that I don't like the dream. Come on, my son. It was just a dream. It was just a dream, okay? Still, mother. Mm, yeah. Please, Auntie Asa is my better half. I don't want you to receive that again. You should love her just as much as you love me. Yes. <laughs> what would you have for breakfast? Mm. No, okay, don't, don't worry. Don't say anything. I know your favorite. You always know my favorite. <laughs> yes, I'll make it for you. <laughs> I know your best. Okay. Let me go make something for you, my son. Uh, don't worry yourself, big boy is doing just fine. I'll soon go pick him from school. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm here with Louisa. Okay, she's saying hi to you. <laughs> okay, my husband extends his greetings. Uh, okay, my love, so when am I expecting you? I, I thought you had. Oh my god, you can't just do without me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, baby. I love you so much. I can't wait to see you. All right. See you. Love you. Plenty, plenty, plenty. <laughs> Louisa, mm -hmm. you can't imagine that my husband is coming back today. Oh, really? I thought he just... Um... Yes, he did, but he <laughs> changed his mind. He said he wants to be with his family. Wow. So he wants to hurry up with whatever he's doing and come back to us. <laughs> I'm so lucky. Yes, you are. <laughs> Hold on a minute, please. Okay, okay. Okay. Hello, Asamwa. My beloved sister. How are you? Yes, yes, please. Uh, Asa, my husband will be coming back today. So I want you to be of your best behavior to avoid you know exactly what i'm talking about right sure all right thank you <sighs> why why are you doing this what what are you talking about <laughs> I've been meaning to ask you. Why you bet on playing with things delicate as home? Why? Um, um, Louisa, please. If it's my sister you want to talk about now, 
I will advise you not to please talk about it. Because I do not want to discuss about my inner circle right now. Please. Because sometimes you need someone out of your home to give you a clear picture of what the circumference looks like. Yes. I think you're gambling with your marriage. You are. My dear. Have you gotten an idea what it looks like when you're trying to save a soul and two souls get lost? A broken trust might be easily forgiven, but the memory leaves. What happens if you lost your husband's trust during the process? What happens if something goes wrong during the process? What if, if nothing? Nothing will go wrong. Louisa, trust me when I say so. Nothing will go wrong. It's my blood sister we're talking about. Not just my blood sister. My better half. Okay. My twin. Okay? Okay. Please just concentrate and let's drive. I give up. <laughs> and do not forget, you're taking me to shop right. Okay, I will. So what do you want? Uh, those lingerings you bought for yourself. <laughs> I want to look sexy for my husband as well. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. You sure you don't want ice cream? No, 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 no. I'm, I don't want to get fat. <laughs> I need those lingerings. Oh, I need to be sexy I'm for my husband. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. I can't wait to get married. Oh, so soon you will. I give you. Oh, thank, thank you. you. I receive. I receive. So I receive. it will not exceed this year. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Enter my bedroom. I don't understand what is happening because I saw all this horrible thing in my bedroom. I don't understand. 
Do you know anything about this? She found. Does that mean he didn't see that as well? Excuse me. What are you saying? You must be a witch to have escaped that. Huh. What is happening? Does it mean you kept all this in my bedroom? Are you by any way trying to break my home? Well, you what? must be blind not to have realized that. That's what you took away from me. Yes, Ego. I am here to take it back. Now you listen. I suggest you walk away in peace. Or better still, call it quits. Pick your little filthy things you have in this house. Tell your husband you're no longer interested in this marriage and leave. Or better still, walk away in peace without letting him know. Because as far as I'm concerned, it would be better than being disgraced out of this house. <sighs> what is happening here? I must be dreaming. Oh, please, just, just, just shut up. You ain't dreaming, dear sister. <laughs> the always good girl of the family. The most decent girl in the whole of our Mokwe community. The, 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 the French your daughter of Dickie's household. You know, sometimes I imagine what it looks like when I stand by the doorpost to your bedroom, listening to you moan, scream on top of your voice every now and then, day and night with my man, my man in there. You don't even sound romantic. You sound like a pig. Well. I don't know if you actually know how to make use of that filthy thing between you. Have you lost your mind? Certain future statements are not welcomed here. Not in my matrimonial home! Did, did you just... Is everything all right, baby? Uh, yes, everything is fine, my love. I'm, I'm just, I'm just practicing something with my sister. Everything is fine. All right, I will be in the bedroom. Ah, uh, of course, love. I'll, I'll be with you shortly. <sighs> Twelfth noon tomorrow should not meet you in this house. Pick your miserable belongings, leave my house, and never return.
Every possible means to see if we could revive her. She seems to have been long gone before you brought her. It's a <laughs> night, Doctor. It's a night. Excuse me. What's, what are you trying to say? What's the meaning of that? What's going on? I'm sorry. She died before you brought her. No! No! <laughs> Hold yourself, okay? Put yourself together. Okay?
Mama. Who could have poisoned Akko? In a gym. Who do I ask? I'm in this village with you. Not in the city with them. Hi. This world is wicked. Chai! You can't tell who is who. Every day that passes by, the heart of man becomes more evil. You can't tell what a man can do. You only see his face. You don't know the content of his heart. Okay. That is why I always tell you. Let's hold God and pray so that when they are in front of us, we are behind them. If they are behind us, we are in front of them. It is our prayer that God should remove them from our path. What a wicked world. Uh, please, be fast with this thing, eh? You run an errand for me right now. Go. Okay. Oh. to be cleared and for the burial to be over before you look for your next victim I beg your right. pardon oh, please don't beg my pardon I have no pardon to give to you you did not attend the burial because you were looking for a way to oh, escape I'm so sorry if it was about the burial I'm so sorry I had an emergency from the company that I'm working with my boss had to oh, send me shut to... that gutter you call Matthew gold digger excuse me excuse you what huh you? How could you be so heartless? How could you be so so inhuman to have killed your own best friend so you could take her husband and disappear into thin air knowing fully well that everyone would be looking for you? Why are you saying things like this? Why would I say it? You think we're all fools? Huh? Is that what you think? Anyway, I have no time to banter words with you. But just to let you know, Get this into your thick skull. My husband and I 
have been looking for you for having a hand in the death of my sister. <laughs> Your husband. <laughs> yes, my husband. You heard me right. <laughs> we will leave that discussion for another day. Right now, I am going to deal with you mercilessly. For killing my sister, I am going to lock you inside that room. Beat the living daylight out of you until the police get here to take your weak bones out of the house. What in heavens are you talking about? Ask Kamaya. Why, why are you no. saying all this? Why won't I say it? Keep asking me Keep. why I'm saying this. Oh, oh, stop it! I said. I said. I said. I said. I said. I said. I She killed you with those words she spoke to you. Please don't listen to her and to you, sir. I'm innocent of those accusations. How can they even think of a thing like that? How could they? How could they even think like that? <laughs> I believe you, Aunt Lisa. Even no one does, I sure do. <laughs> I don't know what I've come over, Daddy. All of a sudden, he started treating the woman the way he treats my mom. I think something is wrong somewhere. Something is definitely wrong somewhere. I have innocent. I didn't do it. I have innocent. I have, oh, I have innocent, you so know. <laughs> I'm not crying. <laughs> I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Why are you crying? What is the problem? You're not talking to me. Why the, why the tears? Listen, listen, please. Just stop asking these questions. Stop it. Now I know the reason you told me my sister always spoke good of me. How decent a woman I am. How I would be the best thing any man would want in his life. Really? So did I did I know that you were you were saying those words to me just, just to get me in bed to satisfy your selfish desires? Oh well good. Fine. Now that that selfish desire of yours has yielded something, be ready to embrace it because it has given birth to something very big. I don't really get it. I don't know exactly where you are driving at. You want me to speak Latin before you understand what I am saying? I'm pregnant.
I... I... Uh, oh! I see! Greg, you are happy. You are happy that I will face this shame alone. You want people to mock me that I got pregnant for my late sister's husband. Only a month she died. And probably give birth to a bastard because nothing on earth will make me terminate this pregnancy. I would do it. But this is not fair. This is not. I did this so I could... I could help my late sister take care of her son. Since you're not always around that... And help you get out of this emotional trauma. This is what I get. What were you even thinking? Did you even think of your reputation as well as mine? Well, I hope you will not be embarrassed when the world gets to know of this our shameful act. Why are you sleeping this way? What did I do? Okay, what do you want us to do? Not again. Come on. Sit up, okay? Just sit up. Relax. I know how hard this is for you. I understand the pain you're going through. I know. I know it's not been easy for you to get over your wife. I know how hard it is to forget her death. But this is not the best way. You're going about it the wrong way. Listen. That's why I'm here. Okay? I'm here to fill the gap. To make you feel better. To make you feel like a man. To make you happy. To give you joy. And make you complete. <clears throat> That's why I'm here. Mm. Even if I know it's really a hard task for me to do what... I'm just going to do the little I can. Okay? Um, I'm, I'm going to take you inside right now so you could um, have your bath and have a good sleep. But first, we need to take this. So, come on, let's go. Mm? Let's go. Mm. Husband. Stop, 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 stop it, stop. How can you think of 
marrying your sister's husband barely one month after she's been buried. Asama, your twin sister. Hello. It is an abomination. I don't know why you're asking all this. Really, I don't know why you're asking. I just want to marry him so I could take care of him and my late sister's son. Simple. Is that supposed to be a big deal? Oh. Moreover, what I'm doing should even be seen as an act of charity. We only came here to tell you so you could give us your consent. And I don't know why you're condemning me. Hi. Moreover, I'm pregnant for him. I choose to pay deaf ears to that. of humiliation you have subjected me to. I'm going through this because I, I just wanted to help your late wife out. Nothing else. And now see the way my grandma reacted. And I'm just doing so that she can be happy wherever she is. You just look at the shame. You see, right now I'm just very confused. I just hope... Okay, what do you suggest we do? Do we even need this village stuff? I mean, we can... We can forget about it. Go to the court, get wedded in the court. Case closed. We don't need to... to come back to her. I can't stand this shame. I can't stand it, it's too much. I said it. I said it, that nothing, no obstruction, no human would stop me from getting what is mine. <laughs> and I got it. Asama got it. everything I asked you to do in the house. Yes, I have. Yes, you have. Did you scrub the floor like I instructed? Yes. Yes. Good. I hope you filled up all the gallons at the backyard. Because as you know, your father did not leave any money for the spoiled sumo in this house. He did not leave any money for us to repair it. So I hope you fetched all the what I asked you to do. 
I will do that when I am back from. Come back here! Let's come back here! Stand up! Look at this idiot! You will do that when you return from school. As what? I am asking you, as what? As the man of the house, big man. My friend, will you run back and fill up the gallows before, before, before I slap the living daylight out of you? I will do that when I'm back from school. I am already late. You are late? You are late? Whose business is that? Listen to me. Mago Lakita, eh? If I slap you, if you cannot know Wow, 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 a pumps. You won't. My friend, run in there and fill up the gallows before I dash you backhand. That's a game over. Woohoo! Idiot, what do you know? You want to go to school? Dollar, look at you, slow worker. You are working, Johnny Walker. What when I now I'm now I'm early day. Keeping your face as if someone is suffering you. Well, you know the right thing to do, you would do. I just stand there. Hi, yes, sir. It's one. Descendant of the dead. Don't you think you're rather being too hard on this one? Eh, eh, Fina, what do you there? Hold it there. Who cares? This little thing knows nothing other than to eat my food in this house. Yet he won't get fat. And the people will think that I'm suffering him. Yet he eats everything in this house. You see the punishment he's getting? He deserves it more than what I'm giving to him right now. This little thing talks and does things that are bigger than him. When his father comes, he starts running his mouth like spoiled tap. Stupid 
Mm, look at this idiot. Now listen to me. There you will remain until the sun sets. And afterwards you will explain to me why you left this house with a gallon and returned with a hole in it. Idiot. Ataramgi, I don't blame you. All you do is eat the food in my house. Go. Shut up your mouth. Please forgive me. Dagege, you are sorry. Are you sorry for yourself for your stupid late mother in the grave? Idiot. Offspring of Lucifer. <laughs> A Wu Gambia. He goes. I'm, I'm talking. I'm going to sit. Sit. Sit on the floor. Chukum na mo ko kwe ba. Look at him. Please don't open your mouth and wag it now. You will. Stupid thing. Mommy, you said you love me. You said you never leave me alone. Why did you go away and leave me here? And I'm looking for you everywhere. Mommy, I miss you. I miss you, mommy. Mommy, I miss you. You, mommy. I miss you, I miss you, mommy. I miss you, I miss you, mommy. I miss you, I miss you, I miss you, I miss you, mommy. I miss you, I miss you, I miss you, What is it? Why do you hate us this much? Why do you hate our family like this? I beg your pardon. Yes, because if you love mommy, you will not be here. I mean, if, if you love me, you will not be treating me the way you do. <laughs> Look what I'm going Big boy, whatever. I can see you have grown wings. You don't have the guts to ask questions bigger than you. Okay. Since you asked, I will tell you. Now hold your ears. You hold your ears. You see your mother? Your mother is the worst enemy I have ever. She had always been in the habit of taking what belonged to me. She took what was mine. I am here now to take what rightfully belongs to me. And as for you, I don't have any business with you. But since you now have the habit of, of prognosing, you have grown so much wings that you ran to your dad and opened that, that gutter you call him out to tell him you hate Asa. Mwa Asa, you hate me. But wait for that hatred. You will continue to see it in this house. Now let me ask you, when you told him about how I have been treating you, what did he do? Nothing. And he will not do anything. That is because I have bewitched him with the power of a woman. I have it right on that. He is going nowhere. So if you like, when your father returns from his trip, you run again with this two left leg of yours to him and open that, that hole you call him out and tell him that I've been treating you badly and you will get triple the punishment. I said hold your ears. You will get triple the punishment you are getting now. Look at his ugly face. My friend, get out of here. I am moving to die. You are a wicked auntie. I hate you. You are heartless. Now get out of here. Uh, uh, come, come, come. Come back here. I said, come here! <laughs> now that 
that you have grown so much wings. I have to cut those wings. And by that, you will not leave this house without my permission. And my food, you will not touch my food until I ask you to do so. Disappear. Hey, in fact, come back. Come here. I said come here. Are you crying? Oh, you start smiling. Oh, I smile. I said you should smile. Smile! Why is that your teddy? Oh Open your teeth! Where is the teddy? It's in you. It's in your room. I can see that teddy now makes you neglect your duties in this house. Tonight, I want to see that teddy in my room. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? I knew you were wicked and I hate you. You are wicked. You are dead. She sees it. What is the money? What is I can I can see your mother did not give you proper home training. Overgrown idiots.
Yes, I'm, I'm here, darling. Of course. He would not let me rest. He said he, all his friends has gone to that place, so I have to take him there tomorrow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Please don't even start. But make sure you don't look at any girl there. You know me and my trouble. Kidnap me. Big boy, what do you mean by me kidnapping you? Yes, kidnap me. I don't know where else I would have run to. Take me to a place that I will sleep and wake up with a smiling face. Take me to a place that I will run all over the compound with a being scared of anyone shouting at me. Please, 
Please, Auntie Luisa, I need a room. Why are you talking like this? But you have a home. No, that is not home. That place you call a home is bonded. <sighs> grandma, you know what Grandma is going to say? Anyone that lacks peace of mind, happiness, and love is not what it should be called a home. Every day in that house turns a nightmare to me. That wicked woman treats me like a slave. Sometimes she pushed me to sleep in the open. My daddy doesn't show me love anymore. I don't feel love. For you, is anyone else here? Eh? Why are you so wicked? Why are you so heartless? Why? Look into my face and tell me why you're out of shape. Hold it right there. Look at your face. It's your face again, Megan. It will be the least What will your face give to me? How dare you bring in your little slimy self into my home mm. to ask me silly questions? any words with you. I am not here to exchange words with you. I only came here to place a lot of money to you. If anything happens to Big Boy here, if anything happens to him, you will have yourself to play. Yes! Do you know what? I'm putting it straight to child right. Yes! Towards your heel mannered attitude towards this boy. And you know what that means? Yes! You know that? Watch I go. Oh yeah. And Keta, are you done packing? Oh my goodness. I'm, I'm scared. I'm shivering. Who do you want to Listen to me, silly. You know my husband. You know my husband has got great connections. And he listens to no one else except me. Darling, it's not magic. Neither is it voodoo. All I need to do is just to take out time, proper time, and clean up my vineyard properly. Sachasia your fuma and pump it to him steady when he comes back. And tell him how you fool kidnapped his son, took him out in the morning, and brought him back at night. And how you planned to take his life. Same when you took the life of his wife. Now you listen to me, you ugly duck. I am the one who sleeps with this man. Day in, day out. Not you. I have given him everything on his steady. This man has tasted my honey pot. I cannot differentiate between offense sala and ofon. This will break you, little monkey. I am pregnant. So you see, a part of him. Now you need to see me. Hmm. If I were you, Louisa, I would dust my shameless feet. Go out there. 
get a man who would love me. <laughs> get yourself in life. Get married and leave other people's marriages alone. I got the one here going to Leave my marriage alone. The one you stole. And I stole it successfully. Kill yourself. Get out of my house. I'm going away. Get out of my house. I'm not going anywhere. Just get me out. You will not go. I'm not going. You will not leave my house. I am not going anywhere. As I said, you should leave my house. Laila, I am not going anywhere. Yes. It is obvious this little monkey wants to go the same way his mother went. But she cannot stop my happiness in this house. We will see to it. We shall see. Come here. How long have you been standing there? Are you mad? Am I talking to myself? How long have you been standing there? And what did you hear? Nothing. Delicious, she would like for you alone. Something good. So come on. Come, come and see what I prepared for you. Big boy. Don't be like that. Come on. I prepared something nice, something you haven't had in a long time. I know we haven't been friends lately, but you know, I just want us to make up. So come, I prepared something nice for you. Big boy! Papa! Come, 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 come on! Come, come on, come on, come on, you something nice, you will love it, I know you have, don't, don't worry, I'll get you the chair, okay, sit down, <laughs> I want to treat you like a king today, I prepared you something very delicious, yes, want to see, ta-da, <laughs> rice and chicken, your favourite, I made it for you and you and me. You're not sharing it with anybody, not even me. I want you to have it all. Make sure you eat everything. Okay? Good boy. Come on, smile for me. Alright. Make sure you finish everything, okay? Good. <laughs> Don't forget, finish everything. Don't 
drink water, please. Don't drink the water. Don't. Keep it. Thank you. No. Please, just, just leave this place. I don't want you to be here. Don't see. Don't see. Don't eat the food. Don't. Don't eat the food. Don't eat the food. Don't eat the food. Don't eat the food. Please. I am your mommy. I'll make something better for you, please. Yes, that's my boy. Thank you. Thank you. Just, just go away from here. Don't, don't even come back here again. Yes, that's my son. Just stay there. Read your book. Okay. I don't want you to come here again. Listen, this food is not good for you. I don't want you to eat it. Okay. It's your food. No. No. Why? Because they are not hungry. Before I close my eyes and open it, you will go back to that tiny and finish up the food. Let them have your salsa starving you. I still don't want to eat it. Why forcing me? Mm. Oh, I'm not sure you can open this food. You want to kill me the way you kill my mom? The night don't have behind my mom's death. People like you are not worthy to live. You are such a wicked soul. Hey, hey, hey. I see. You see that food you left on the dining table? You must finish it. You will finish that food and eat everything in that place. You must eat that food. What?
Problem. I, I'll buy from the next shop. Okay. I, I, I don't want to ask. I heard there was an accident here this morning. What happened? How? Madam. Don't be smart, you know. Now, so one small boy just they run, big, 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 this one where they ask me now. Who I want to ask? How I want to take no way till they pursue the boy. Eh? Nobody know where till they pursue him. Eh? Madam, I beg. I beg I they beg you. No, let me just remember what happened this morning. Because if I remember him, now somebody they do me jiggy, jiggy, jiggy. Since that morning reached now, I never test anything. Don't be even water. Eh? Hey! Now someone begin to take die. Hi. Eh, hey, but. Where the where the boy? What's going to happen? We 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 He died. Eh? He died just like that. And also the mumu driver take wrong. He no go better for that driver. But anyway, we in there. Amen. If the same as somebody like you die, and for no even for not to pay me because you don't need to die. For for that small boy to just spy like that, ah uh ah, -uh. madam, you get us if you check uh, 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 uh. Stop him then. Which kind of mumu talk be that one? Which one be if mummy die? What kind of joke is that? Oh, verse. I play, they play with you. Don't mind me. Uh, um, but the, the thing where they pay me, now that driver, how can he be so heartless? Hit a little boy and run away. He not even say make he carry and go hospital. My dear, as I did, they cry. They carry phone, they call for help, they call police, they call everywhere. Now so, boo, bah, another woman appear from nowhere. He? he kidnapped the dead body. He carry and go. Nobody know his name. Nobody know where he's from. And the mumu boys when they around, they will call themselves men. They did yeah. Sit down, yeah. other woman. Go and kidnap small picking that body just like that. Go. If not only me one, that woman no go carry that dead body go. After they go say, what do men they do? Women no fit one. Now him one, only me. Hmm. I no go carry that dead body come out. Um, uh, but, but, but uh, where they carry the dead body go? Mm -mm. All I'm there. What do what what they try to talk now? 
So now me talk pass Abi waiting. I don't understand. Because I the nyan give you Abi waiting. Eh? I won't take no way that the bloody you carry yourself, go mochari. Go out the mochari where they for this area, where they for your own village, go find where the body day. What's it with that one now? Eh? Madam, ma ma calm down now. Whenever they fight. I beg I go change that for you. No vex. It, it shows that I was feeling for the boy. Eh? It didn't pain me when I hear him. I, I was very sad. Nobody no. feel for the boy past me. And as I said, don't tell you finish so, I won't make it just a match. They come out from my shop. Oh yeah! They come out, I go change that for you. <laughs> Understand it from my own point of view. Understand me. I didn't want to talk to you about it because I didn't want you to get all worked up. Moreover, this is not the first time this is happening in this house. This is what I have been passing through since you traveled. That boy hardly sleeps at home. Kamsi goes to God knows where and comes back the next day. He sleeps out. Sometimes he doesn't even come home at all. And then when he manages to come back, when I caution him, the next thing that comes out of his mouth is, you are not my mother. You cannot tell me what to do. You know, even, even, even the last time he did this, I almost got pissed. He, he said I, I, I should ask you about his mom, that you know what happened to his mother. Wait. Kamsi said that? Oh. My love. Just calm down. Because I am tired as well. I'm as confused as you are. But we need to take it easy. Please. Uh, and my love, when Kamsi comes back, we need to talk to him. Because it is obvious that he has been conniving with that Louisa lady. For him to have mentioned that, it simply means that she has been poisoning his mind against you. Listen. I don't want you to get yourself all worked up. Just... Take some rest. Sit down. I mean, relax. You just got back. And this is why I didn't want to even talk to you about it in the first place. Do you know what? I am going out there in search of my boy right away. I am going to get the police involved in this. Police? No, honey, honey. Wait, wait. Listen. 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 Let me talk to you. It's all right. It's all right for you to go to the police. There's no problem at all. Look at the time. You just got back. It's late. Just, you know, go in there, take your bath. And guess what? Come on, Cass. I actually prepared your favorite, something you will love. So, I'm just going to take off your shirt. Throw the water in the bathroom and then um, you to have your bath, okay? If a mother What 
is wrong with that lady? I wouldn't know. Babe, that lady is up to something. I can't feel it. She's up to something. Baby. What is happening to me? Who have I offended? Up to now, my boy is nowhere to be found. Everything is going wrong day by day. Who is after me? Who are my enemies? Who are they? You know I don't like it when you sound this way. It breaks my heart. My love, these people you're talking about are my blood also. I know the ache I go through every day just, just thinking that they are gone. Anytime I see you this way, it just... It just makes me feel like I'm less important. And that is why I'm here. Listen. I'm here to fill up the vacuum they left. To make you a better person. To, to brighten up your day because I know how much you cherished them. Even if what I'm doing is not an easy task, but... I'm doing it for a sister. And I also need you to remember that. That I'm pregnant. So you see, it's it's complete. Cheer up. Please. And I'll take you out tomorrow. I'll take you to somewhere beautiful. Somewhere we can have fun. Somewhere where we can erase these memories. Okay? So please smile for me. Come on. Okay, the baby wants you to smile for him. <laughs> That's more like it. You see how happy he is? He's kicking already. <laughs> you know what? That's okay. All I need you to do right now is go upstairs, 
shower and then come back because I prepared you something really, really nice. Hmm? Come here. Mwah. Good. So, I'll take you up myself. Let's go. Mm -hmm. I beg you, I beg you, don't, 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 don't kill me, don't kill me. Please, please don't kill me, please, please. Ako, 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 please. My twin sister loves us. Even when nothing should have happened. Because she has sinned against, against heaven, heaven on earth. earth. She has, she has desecrated. The sacredness and the sanctity of your blood. 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 I thought they say it's thicker than, than water. Than water. Than water. Was, was I really right? right? Yes. You should, you should not worry, not worry about, about me. me. You should, you worry, should worry about, about the forces. The forces, the forces of, of nature. nature. The, the air, air you breathe. breathe. The water, the water you, drink you drink when you try to taste. taste. Even, Even the, the very, very ground, ground which you sit on. on. 
is is good with you. Everything. 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 They come they coming full force, force, force raging, raging fire. fire. And when, and when they try, 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 nothing, nothing stops, stops them. them. Absolutely, Absolutely nothing. nothing. My, my, my advice, advice to you, to you my dear sister, sister, is to is confess. confess. Hurry, Hurry and confess, and confess all your sins, sins before it's too late for you. Confess, Confess all, all of your sins, sins before, before it's too late for you. Hurry. 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 No, no. Hurry. 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 trying to check something here. Uh, I, I think I'm mistaking something in my calculation. Uh, you remember the last time I traveled to Dubai? A trip before the last one I just entered. If I'm not mistaken, that was April last year. Twelve months ago.
Yes. Um, I don't know, 12 months ago, you've been carrying this baby in your womb. And since then, there's no sign of labor. Well, what's going on? No. I'm confused too. I've been asking myself the same question. I I don't know what's happening. This is strange. Your wife seems not pregnant. that I'm not interested in your woman naira business. I am not. Stop calling this phone, please. Thank you. Quite unusual, she is not pregnant. What? What are you talking about? How can you be playing with delicate issues like this? Are you drunk or what? Not to say that my wife is pregnant. If she's not pregnant, is she carrying your head in her tummy? Oh, you see, go I have been in this profession for 15 years and I am 100% sure of what I am saying. And the least I can do in such cases as sensitive as this is make jokes out of them. Like I said earlier, she is not pregnant. I see a case of salpingitis. It is... Excuse me, what, what's, what's Dr. Watt? What are, what are they calling you? Sal, sal, salping what? Because bully good here. Salpingitis. Are you drunk? Are you drunk or blind? Just stand. What the hell are you talking about? You see why I always tell you to go see Dr. Paul? Because he is the best in town. Because there's a lot of work doctors in this town. No, no matter how far the hospital is, go there and meet him because he is the best in town. There's a lot of work doctors. I take an exception to that, Mr. Exception to what? No, 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 exception to what? If you're not quack, you shouldn't have been drunk or blind not to see that my wife is pregnant. What are you, what are you telling me? She's, she, she, and I know she, this is not the first time she's coming here. She has been coming here. If you're not quack, you wouldn't have looked into my eyes and tell me that my wife is not pregnant. Meanwhile, we are seeing the pregnancy. Mr. Craig, I cannot take you sit in my office and insult me. If you think I am quack, then take your wife to the right doctor. I cannot take you sit down in my office and call me quack. What do you mean by that? Good doctor. Whack doctor Ibeli. Excuse you? Whack like you? Oh, black people everywhere. What is this? Ah, oh, God. Wait, please, can, can we go now? Can we go? Before they whack us. Can we go?
There is no fatal development in your wise fallopian tube. Hello. I say I don't really understand. Even sometimes we even the doctor, this medical terms language. Just we go in here. Go to go see water. Just break it down for me. Your your wife is not pregnant.
Anne. Anne. I've checked, so. Uh -huh. There's nothing wrong with your phone. <sighs> but earlier, when I was carrying it, it was hot. Onya wala rock. Ne, I have checked. There is nothing wrong with your phone. There's something wrong. I will notice. Ah. So, why has my my daughter, Asama, not be calling me? I, 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 I've been calling her and I can't even get her. The, the last time I heard from her, she told me they were going to the city to do a Hebo wedding. I, I, I got the phone on, on her because I was angry. The elders and I had not agreed to the marriage. Maybe that is why she's not calling me. But I am not angry with her again. At least let her call me. You see, I am no longer angry with her. It was that time I don't know what to do. Okay, now I'm going to jump up. I'm going to do it. Okay, what back I can when I was home. Oh, 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 when the son has been calling her for me severally, and somebody picked up the phone and said that my daughter's phone is not reachable, mm. that means she's still angry with me. But let her call me now. Nay, nee, she is not angry with you. I know. Huh? Maybe she's just busy or something. Busy. She will call you. When will she call me? Oh, me. That might be poor network. Poor network. Every time you tell me poor network, they say, they, they say, we let her call me. They, they say, where well, I'm feeling that I don't like, you know, that I don't like. They say, they say that I, I, I have forgiven her. You, 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 she's my only child. I, I have forgiven her. Tell her to call me. Hey, you, you promised me. I know. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh, let her call me. You know, say, Mama, Just 
To me, I said, Stop, I want to pee. <sighs> You're not listening to me. I want to pee. <laughs>
we are one. One more. 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 What you kill me. 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 You wait, 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 it that you are not telling me what
I am on fire. I am burning. What is it again? Is it the pregnancy stuff? Everything is wrong, Fina. Everything is happening to me at the same time. My life is miserable. I, I, I don't even understand what is going on with me. Fina, listen to me. I need someone to lean on. I need someone to stand by me. I, I just need someone to be with me. I'm losing it. Calm down, girlfriend. You are sounding so strange. Your mind is not at peace. You need a shoulder to you. Even though your husband is not happy with the recent development, I mean the overdue pregnancy. But. He can still provide you with what you just mentioned. Fina, you don't understand. You don't understand. My, my, my marriage is slowly tearing apart. My, my, my marriage is not, it's not what it used to be. I, I, I can't meet my husband. He goes out without telling me. He, he goes out without letting me know his whereabouts. Come here. Down, eh? There's always a solution to every problem. Hmm? Are you sure? Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Hmm? Let me get you one. Come on, Akisha. This is how I think of it. What have I done? What have I done? 
wrong how could I use evil for replacement how could I have done such a thing I thought she could feel the vacuum created by the demise of my lovely wife oh hello how I missed my You know I'm always here for you. Just shut up! Just shut up. You imposter. <gasps> you are a life destroyer. You are nothing but torn in the flesh. That's what you are. You know who that woman was? Do you know what that woman was to me? She was my mother. She was my mother. She was my father. She was the siblings. I never heard. That woman was the shoulder I lean on whenever I'm stressed. She was the only person who can advise me. She gave me the wonderful advice of my life. She was a wonderful woman. She was a perfect woman. She brought destinies, wonderful destinies into my future. She brightened my days and made my world complete. But you, you came in and destroyed everything with misfortunes, with evil things. Who are you? How I missed my wife. How, how did I even get here? How, how did we get here? How did we get here? How? Craig, please. God. Please. Oh God. You're breaking my heart. You're breaking the heart of your pregnant wife. She has said the worst part of it. Who told you? Who told you you're pregnant? Who told you that? Who told you you're pregnant? The doctor said there is nothing in there. Nothing. All you have in there. <laughs> Is shit. Afo togi. Afo togi. All you do is to eat my hard earned money. After eating, you get filled and have a lot of shit in your tummy. Don't worry, Hosema. 
really in the wabo or a hammer. Okay, okay, let me not ask you. When was the last time you used the toilet? You're never pregnant. Understand me? When was the last time you used the toilet? Oh, you said you loved me. You said you loved me, Greg. Love Wogeba. May that love kill you. To love is it by force? Is it by force to love? I do not love you. Hey! Upright! Don't you ever touch me with that future hands again! Don't you ever! Love is not by force. I do not love you. You are evil. Greg. Please. Even if you don't love me, please just pretend. Pretend that you love me, Greg. Because I love you. Because my romance make you for Nana. Because Greg. Thank you. I wish you would just wake up one day to find me dead. Please. Please. with Alphonse again. If you die with Alphonse, we bury you. Because I do not love you. You are an evil. No. Let me tell you something. You can actually have your way in everything. But you can never get me to make me love you. You are an evil woman. That is what you are. Hey. Nemoki Wakawa. Sienny 
ke akwe mwerisi ya chomu cha sieni ke omwa mambe adebe te ya na kwa ala kwa kayano so ifonye metano menu I'm eating. Why? Has someone come there that you don't just hear that question I asked? I said, why are you eating? Because I'm hungry. Oh God. <sighs> why is it that some people already know that they are burdened to themselves and to others, yet they keep adamant to it? Why can't you do something to help yourself? Everything, 
Now you start everywhere. You are not ashamed of yourself. Of your, of your, of your self. Useless woman. Nonsense. Help your life, help yourself. Be useful to yourself.
Nina, I want to die. I want to die. Please, tell me. How, how can someone die without passing through them? Because I'm tired. I, I am tired, Fina. I'm tired. I mean, you're my very good friend. I, I need you to help me out on this. Fina, I want to die. I want to die. Would you please stop this? Because you're scaring me. Why are you attracting spirit of death to yourself? Fina, you will not understand. You won't understand. I have been going through a lot lately. I, I, can't, I can't even explain what is happening to me. I, I just feel like my body. Tension. It's dead. I, Asa, Asa, please. You're confusing me. Your body. Tension. Instead, I don't get that. What is it? Eji Mama, Mama. Mama. We, we are, are one. One, 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 body. one body. One soul. soul. Inseparable. But she treated us. us. You, you killed me. me. You, you killed, killed me. me. You, you killed me! me.
Jesus Christ! Jesus! Sienny K. 
Yes, in my heart I write. I write because the burden is so heavy on me. I have offended both heaven and earth. But then, this is so heavy, so unbearable for me. I can't bear it anymore. I am more like a walking corpse and can't stand this anymore. I wish to apologize to you, Greg, and whomever I have hurt as I travel to the world beyond. <laughs> I had no other option other than end my life. Let me die so I can go and rest in peace. Asa! 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 Again? I didn't die. I didn't die. Oh my god, I, I didn't die. No, no, no. Oh, oh my god, please just, just, 
Take my life, take my life. I want to die. Oh, I want to die. I want to die. Just, just take my life. Take my life. I want to die. I want to die. I want to die, God. I want to die. 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 Give him money, make a family to a new funny man. In a man, now we check if he met a law. He gave you sick in a blue. He Grandma, a lot has been happening in my home. A lot, Grandma. My wife tried taking her own life, but to God be the glory, she never succeeded. Eh? Can you imagine? Eh? Yeah, I got one and got. Hey, Grandma. So I decided to bring her back home. I mean, she's me woman. Listen, now, they, will, they, they will say that I've used my wife for money ritual. Hmm. I don't understand what you're saying, Grigori. I, 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 for some time now, I've been waiting to hear the cry of a child in your house. And now you're, you're speaking in, in, in strange words. Rama, the truth of the matter is she is not pregnant. What, 
What, what is in her stomach? I've been asking the same question. I have been asking the same question. I've asked all the doctors in the city. No one seems to give me good answer. No one. They said there's nothing in that stomach. Grandma, there is nothing in that stomach. There's never labor pain in this, in this woman's life. Or Chirachi, Nkoja Mwamu. Eh? This woman is not pregnant. What is it? There's, 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 I don't know. We are one. We are one. One blood. One soul. In the But she just treated us. You killed me. Okay. You, you killed me. Okay, hmm. you, you killed me. me. Where's the stench coming from? This is unbearable. Oh, they can't come. Hey! Asa! Asa! I don't know. I can't afford this is what I this is what I experience every time. about what you're perceiving. Oh, also. That thing you're perceiving, that stinking thing is coming from my wife. Yes, that's how I've been living with her in the city all this while. I've taken her to many doctors in the city. They found nothing in her. My mom just suddenly developed this, this, this killing smell. I don't know where it's coming from. Eh? This thing is killing me. I am tired. I am tired though. I am tired because I've asked her several times what the problem is, but she's not telling me anything. She's not telling me that if she's going to tell you people the truth, better I'm fine. But as for me, I am tired of this whole thing. I am tired of that smell. I am tired of those, those stinking, stinking that is killing me. It's killing me. And that's why I brought her back to you people. I want to tell you, I am tired, Mama. I am tired. And I am yes, Mama, Mama, your hands in blood. Did you take part in shedding blood? 
this the smell, the, the odor, the stench that comes out of you. Only stipulates one thing. Revenge. Revenge of bloodshed. To me, I am a ne your grandmother. What did you sell your hands in? Nothing. 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 You. I mean, no. That is it hate. Any any time I am tensed, that that has stench. That the smell becomes becomes unbearable for me and any other person around me. They. Sometimes I can't even stand this smell. I, I, I can't stand it, I, including any other person around me. Sometimes I can't even stand this smell. It's unbearable. So The stench is gone. It has gone far away to where it belongs. Madu Agaya no Madu Madu. Nesi Momo. If you knew me, tell you about it. If you knew me, tell you about it. You killed me. You killed me. You killed me. You killed me. Who 
to see her. I can't see anybody. <laughs> I can't walk. I can't, I can't walk. Eh? I can't walk. I can't, I can't, I can't walk. I can't move. Nah, I can't move. She has done something to me. I can't. I can't. What is it? I can't see. Asa. I can't see. You can't see. No. No, I, I, I can't see. I, I, I can't see. No, I can't see anything. I, I can't see anything. I can't see anything. No, I can't see. I can't see. I can't, I can't, I can't see. She, she, she's going to do something to me. She's, she's going to do something. She, 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 she's going to do something to me. No. No, no. no, no, no. I can't see anybody. Ah. Oh. Mm. What? What is okay. it? Eh? Okay, okay. 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 Eh? okay, I'll talk. You will talk? I'll talk. Talk about that. I'll say it, I'll say it. What will you I'll, say? I'll say, I'll say it. No. Say what? No. No, you, 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 you need to call Greg. You, you need to call Greg. You need to call Greg. I, I, I should call Greg. You need to call Greg before I say it. You, you call Gregory. Yes, Mama. You need to call him, Mama. You need to just... Oh. Oh. I can't move my leg. You can't move my the leg. leg. I can't move. I can't move. I will call Grigo. I will call Grigo. You should do something to me. You should do something to me. Oh, I will call Grigo. 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 I killed my sister Akune. Hey! I'm at your hey. I injected a poisonous substance in the fruit she ate. Akune. Aku, please forgive me. Forgive me, Miku. I was heartbroken. I... I felt Greg was mine and she snatched him away from me. I, I did everything to get him back. And then he backfired. I didn't know it would backfire. Big oh, forgive me. I didn't know it would backfire. I didn't know. 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 Woman. Why have you come pestering me with your tears? Didn't I warn you? Didn't I warn you about the blood you already shared? Didn't I advise you to go back? Use every other thing within your power as a woman to hold the man down. If you need him to have you as a wife. Baba, Baba, you did. You did warn me, but, but I was scared. I was scared because he seemed very stubborn and he might wake up one day and change his mind not to marry me. I had to come to you to give me something strong to hold him down, please. <laughs> and what are the exact words I spoke to you about the blood you share? That the blood was was too strong that not all blood one could tamper with that the blood could rise 
open and fight its cause. And then I wash off my hands. It was your solemn decision using the fruit from your private part to cook for the man. <laughs> so he obeyed you and get married to you when the blood still lies low. <laughs> now the blood has risen to fight and you want me contaminated with it. Oh, oh, Asa. Asa, what have you done? What have you done? What have I done? Oh, oh. I need not to remind you that the more you seek solution to your predicament, the worse it gets. It is your cross. Your cross alone. Carry it and do not involve me. Is there nothing you can do for me? Anything, please. I'm, I'm going crazy. I, I need you to do something for me. I, I, I swear, I, I'm not come to this kind of place. I've, I've never been to this kind of place before. Please, Baba, please, please. He who fetched ant infested firewood has obviously invited a lizard for a feast. You just invited a lizard for a feast. One more word from you. I will be forced to strike you with an hippo. Leave now. Leave before you see the worst. Leave. Leave. I said, leave. I. I thought I could hold Greg down for a very long time. Akuane. Akuane Biko. Biko Balum. Please forgive me. Please. Louisa was innocent. She didn't do anything wrong. I, I, I just come see into an oncoming vehicle that, that hit him and, and he died. He died. He died. People, please, Forgive me. Forgive me, please. Me. Me, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Because I can't hear this. Hey! Greg. Greg. Greg, where are you? Ne. Ne. And then, Greg, please forgive me. Forgive me. Me, God, please. Please, please. No. You, you, you shouldn't leave me here. Don't leave me here. Don't leave me here. Because you don't leave me here. She'll kill me. No. 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 Greg. 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 Biko. 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 No. 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 Please. 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 Please don't leave me. Don't leave me. No. Don't leave me, please, 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 Greg, Greg, no, 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 Greg! 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 
you have committed an abomination and you have desecrated our land. This has never happened in the history of Amokwe. It is said that the eyes, there is nothing the eyes sees and bleeds. But this time around the eyes bleeding already. Exactly. Your abominable act have awoken the dead from the grave. That's why you are smelling like a dead body. Hmm. Asa, you no longer deserve to be called Asam. The befitting name for you is called Asanjo. Yes, yes. that's her new name. Mm. You are very correct. Mm. You have created a very bad impression. You have created a bad impression in such a manner that the people in this community will not want to help any of their own. Hey. But we disagree with you. We disagree because there are a thousand and one people out there that have good and decent minds. Oh. According to our customs and tradition, the punishment for someone who takes someone else's life is death. Or even something greater than death. But as it is, you are a moving corpse. I mean, a dead person is better than you. Mm -hmm. Come on, my people. Oh, yes. She has Aye. done a living dead. Onye mwana gije. Eh? Eh? Whatever you think that you gain by taking the life of your blood sister, twin sister, eh? are you enjoying it now? Are you? Ah! Eh, we want to let you know, we your fathers, that the disgrace you brought to us has made us very, very angry with you. You have soiled our land. With the entire members of Amokwe refuse to be contaminated with your evil. Wow. Therefore, to avoid the disgrace, the contamination, and the cause that it will bring onto our, us and our children, we have concluded that we have to ostracize you for our community henceforth with immediate effect. Exactly. <laughs> yes, you are. You are going to be swept out of this land so that you go away and join your fellow evil people. Eh? You go out of our community because you are no longer one of us. Yes. yes. Go and live with the evil that you have committed. 
uh, my fellow elders, I hope I've communicated. Yes, of course. Mm. You have said it all. Exactly. Uh -huh. hey. Hey, let her go. Hmm. You don't need to. Look at her. Can you imagine your own twin sister? Oh, Good man you are. Maybe I gambled with my marriage. Sometimes I did blame myself for what happened. Sometimes I tried questioning God for having allowed it to happen. But then again, I realized that there are a thousand and one reasons why I shouldn't question God. For He alone knows everything. He has His reasons. Maybe to pass messages across. He alone knows everything. I loved you. I loved you, Gregory Odinwe. I loved you with my life. And believe me, I still love you. I am back to take sadness away. I am back to bring happiness into your life. I am back to make you a complete man. 
because the tongue has been removed from the flesh. Akum? No, back to me. Akum, I have missed you. Akum? Akum? She was here. And and she said she's back to me. Yes. Grandma, I, I know what I saw. Yes. I I was. And then I I I, I, I was. Grandma, do you understand? Yeah. Mommy, you said you love me. You said you never leave me alone. Why did you go away and leave me here? And I'm looking for you everywhere. Mommy, I miss you. I miss you, mommy. Mommy, I miss you. I miss you, mommy. You, mommy. I miss you, mommy. Mommy, I miss you. 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 I miss you, mommy. Guys, Mr. Greg, I'm so sorry for keeping this away from you. I didn't mean to hurt you. 
I had to do this for the safety of your son and for you. Mr. Greg, I realized the heat in your home was much more beyond what you could see. Yes, and I believe that Asa had a hand in the death of your wife. Oh yes, big boy here confided in me after forcing him to eat a meal against his wish. After he overheard her talking on the phone on how she killed the mom. Yes, I tried communicating with you separately after the accident scene, but it amounts to nothing. Just for the life of big boy, for his safety. You know, accusing fingers were still pointing at me, so I could not do anything. I have no evidence to tell the police about all the atrocities she was committing. So I decided to make up my mind to go to the village to see his grandmother. When I got there, they told me what happened. That nemesis caught up with her. Yes, she was so happy to see us. And she advised that I should bring Big Boy to come and see you. Yes. Uh, Mr. Greg, I've been battling all along to come and let you know for the best time to come let you know about this whole thing. But things got worse. I quite knew that it is wrong keeping someone's child in my custody without his or her knowledge. So I decided to bring back your child to you. Yes. Forgive me for keeping away your child from you, Mr. Greg. You are a good man. Yes, you are. Why not more, Daddy? Because I am back again. I am back to take away your sadness and bring true happiness. Mm -hmm. So you smile again. For the tongue has been removed from the flesh. Wow, so sweet. <laughs> Lisa. I thank you so much. You're welcome. Do you know, I'm not sure you realize what you've done for me. Ah, oh, it's nothing. Bringing back this boy, you brought back life <laughs> to me. Thank you so much. May God bless you. Amen. Amen. May God bless you. <laughs> Big boy. Mm. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let's Thank you, Mommy. 